Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ask Luke Ness Monster, episode 10. It's very hard to believe we've been doing this series for 10 weeks now, but it's uh, really good. So this is a series on the channel. It's a Q&A series where I answer your questions from the comments down below. So if you want your questions answered, go comment down below in this week's episode, and I'll try to answer it in next week's. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the recent support. We j are actually just about to hit 225 subs, and that's amazing. So we just gained about 50 subs in the last two weeks, and that is really, really good. So uh, can we get to 300 by the end, uh, end of October? Uh, we got about a month or so, so can we go and hit that 300 mark by the end of, of October? I know we can do it because uh, you guys are awesome, and... Um, yeah, if we if we get at that by the end of October, we'll be on the road to hitting 500 by the end of the year. And that'd be great because at 500, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away Camino Clone Trooper at 500 subscribers. So, yeah, uh, you do have to be subscribed to enter in the giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And uh, each subscription gets us just a little bit closer to that 500 mark. And, um, yeah, on to the first question. The first question from Mark. He says, in reference to the King of Kill Counts, what about Smoke, Snoke, or Hux? Didn't they blow up multiple planets with Starkiller base? And so if you guys didn't know, in my last week's episode and a few weeks before that, we've been having a kind of like comment chain and talking about who has the King of Kill Counts and um, if Luke technically does because he destroyed the Death Star. And uh, we've been going through, then it was like Lando because he destroyed the second one. So we've been going through and... Um, I honestly agree with Mark. I definitely think he has the highest kill count with the destruction of the New Republic because he destroyed like a, like two planets and like three moons and um, with Starkiller Base. So I definitely think that he might have the highest kill count. Or um, maybe you could count uh, Poe for it because he destroyed Starkiller Base, which... Um, we don't really know how many people on it, but it had, like you saw the uh, the giant meeting with Hux there. There had to be a few hundred thousand stormtroopers there, plus uh, however many people actually live on the planet. So, yeah, uh, while I bet there were quite a few people on Starkiller Base, I still think Hux has the king of kill counts with the destruction of the New Republic because those were pretty big cities that he destroyed. So next question, Garfield Garfield asks, question, did you slash are you planning on getting anything from PulseCon? So uh, if you guys didn't know, PulseCon was last week, the end of like Thursday and Friday. And uh, yes, I actually am. Or actually, I already did. Uh, I got two of the um, Arc Trooper 3 packs. One I will review on the channel, but the second one I'm actually going to give away. So, of course, you guys know I'm doing the Camino Clone Trooper at 500, but at 1,000, I'm going to give away one of the Arc Trooper 3 packs. I know I'm just planning it uh, for the future right now, but just to, get, just, just to let you guys know, I am giving that away. So... Uh, yeah, and then what else I got? I was planning on getting the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, but that one actually sold out before I could do it because I had it in my cart with the uh, Deluxe Armorer, but it just kept on clocking and clocking. So I refreshed my page, and Boba Fett was sold out. But I still was lucky enough to get the armor, so once that ships in a few weeks, I will get a review out on that. Okay, Jay Prasad asks, If Darth Revan and Darth Vader would fight, would Vader easily defeat him? Honestly, I can't really answer this, only because I never play the Old Republic games. I know I really need to, and uh, they're not that expensive. They're like $10 on Xbox. So I should definitely go and play those games, <laughs> but um, I can't really answer this question. Uh, of what I know of Revan and Darth Vader, I'd have to say that Darth Vader is probably more powerful, at least in his prime. If you say, like, um, Darth Vader in between... Uh, Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, I'd say yes. But if you say, like, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader, I'd say m maybe to probably not. I don't know. Again, I'm not a huge Revan fan. I don't really um, know a whole lot about him in the Old Republic. So I'd have to say um, I'm not really sure, but Darth Vader, I guess. <laughs> Billy asks, who is your favorite Sith Lord and why? So honestly, I'm going to have to go back to Darth Vader. Um, he is the original... He's uh, the big, the bad, the greatest supervillain of all time. He's just the, he's an icon. He is a pop culture legend. And um, 
yeah, Darth Vader is just so iconic. I have to pick him as my favorite. Um, if it wasn't Darth Vader, I'd have to go with General Grievous, but I don't actually consider him a Sith Lord because he doesn't use force powers. He just uses lightsabers. So um, I would say him as my next favorite Sith Lord. Te even though he technically isn't a Sith Lord, I would say I really like General Grievous because um, he's just really cool. And, I mean, a giant robot with four arms isn't cool. No, he's definitely cool. Tenor Saxophone Gamer asks, can you please mention me in the next video? So here's your shout out, Tenor Saxophone Gamer. I actually subbed to this guy and I watched a few of his videos and they're really cool. He does, he has a, f uh, a few action figure reviews out and he also has a few saxophone uh, videos on, but he also has a lot of gaming videos. So go check out his channel, it's pretty cool. And let's try to get him up to 25 subs pretty soon because he does have a really cool channel. And the last question is from Mariah, and this is actually from a few weeks ago that I didn't get around to answering, but it is, do you like Pokemon? So, um, yes and no. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit as a kid. I had Pokemon White on the DS, so those were some good times playing that with my brother. I did really enjoy that as a kid, and I did collect a few of the cards back in the days. I, I think I got two or three of those, um... Uh, ZX or cards. I'm sorry. I don't know if I don't know the names anymore. I'm really sorry. The shiny gold ones or the shiny ones with the really powerful Pokemon on them. I had a few of those back in the day, but um, I never really got into it. I didn't have that many cards or anything. I actually never really beat Pokemon. I beat the story of Pokemon Black or White, but I never got around to the right half of the map. I could never find the way to get over there, and um, I've looked it up on YouTube, and I could never find a tutorial how to do it. So, um, yeah, so yes and no. I mean, I used to like it as a kid, just not as much anymore. And um, I never really watched any of the new series. I did watch it on a Netflix, so uh, Pokemon Black and White, once, once that was on Netflix, because that was really good. And um, Oshawott was my favorite Pokemon, so there you go. And uh, that's all the questions we have for today. There wasn't many questions this week, so... Um, if you guys do want your questions answered, I really encourage you to comment down below because, as you can see, I didn't have a whole lot of questions this week, so this video was a little bit shorter. So um, if you do comment, there is a very high chance I will get around to answering it. Whether it's uh, next week's video or the week after that, there's a high chance I will answer it. So if you have a even a very small question, doesn't even have to be Star Wars related, please comment it because I will try my very best to answer it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and um, hit that subscribe button. Try to get to 500 subscribers for the giveaway. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.